I'm here with the lovely Felicity Jones. Hello. This is her, Felicity. Oh, we're going to do the, our posture. We're doing, we're doing very good posture. Welcome to Young Hollywood. Hello. I'm joined here by the lovely Felicity Jones. How are you, Felicity? I'm very well, thank you. Thank you for coming. Uh, how are you? I'm wonderful. Good. God, this will take a lot of effort, doesn't it? It does, yeah. Let's just relax. Let's, let's just chill. It doesn't suit take me. We are on a sofa, so we will do that. Yeah, there's lots of cushions. Oh, there's lots, the, of, lots of cushions. Lots of cushions. That's lots of faces. <laughs> Who's your favourite face on that pillow? Oh, yes, let's see. Um, I think it would have to be Beyonce. I saw Beyonce um, last night did in you? concert. Oh, yeah, she was She great. was phenomenal. How, how was it? Absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Anyway, we're not here to talk about Beyonce. We're talking about you being the invisible woman. Yes. Yes, it is a very good film in its own way. I've seen it oh, and I great. loved it. Great. Mixed emotions. It was like, oh, and then, oh. Yeah, and, it's, oh, yeah. Um, it's an intense love story. It is. It yeah. is an intense love story about the amazing Charles Dickens. Indeed. Which is very good. Yes. And yeah. you are Nellie with a troubled I'm, past. Yeah, I play Nellie Turner and it's about her looking back on her life and, and had this very tempestuous affair with Charles Dickens. Tempestuous. Do you like that word? I love it. I just it. thought I'd throw that in. You, you've just clearly <laughs> confused me with a word of such sort. <laughs> Tempestuous. I love that. I love that. Um, and uh, you do a lot of walking in the movie. I do. That was good. Yes, yeah, she's got a lot on her mind. A lot so, on her mind. So, you know, she's, she's trying to um, exorcise the, the ghost of Charles Dickens. Right. Beautifully shot. It is. It looks, it's wonderful. It, he's absolutely amazing. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Rob Hardy was the um, the DOP in. Right. His, yeah, he's brilliant. And you worked with the amazing Rafe Fine. <laughs> yes. He, he wasn't just acting in the movie, he was directing as well. He was, yeah. I mean, at times it did feel like I was being directed by Charles Dickens. Did it? Yeah, because he would be in costume and he'd, uh, suddenly we'd be doing a scene and then he'd be sort of trotting off behind the camera. So it was a little disorientating at times. And how was he as a director? He's great. I mean, he's very... Uh, He's very uh, intense okay. as a as a person, and he he is very honest as a director. So it was you know he'd come up, I'd do a take, and then he'd come up afterwards and say that was terrible. You know you have to do that okay. again. So we immediately had a, a very kind of straightforward um, interaction with each other. Right. But it, it's quite it can be a bit intimidating at first working with a, a director who is such a phenomenal actor at the same time. It took right. me a few days to kind of. Relax. relax and and not feel like oh gosh I've got to you know really impress. impress yeah, I guess him. in some ways I think that would help because he's an actor so he gets it more. But then someone like him, you're like wow. Well, yeah, you 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 because I've grown up watching his films and and really admiring his his work. So, um, but but actually, Rafe is he's not someone he's very sort of open and and, and straightforward. So after after I'd got over my initial nerves, it was it was a good right. working relationship. And going into a role like that, was there much? Because you like to prepare for your roles. When I when I was reading up on that, you're quite you really do prepare. I like to do preparation just because you want to feel like when you're actually on set that you know what you're doing. Right, which just helps. My which insecurities. Helps. Yeah. Okay, well that's a good thing. Yeah, it's a good thing. And how was it going into a role like this? It's so instinctive about understanding who Nelly was, and it's it's based on a book by Claire Tomlin called The Invisible Woman and that was really where my, my research started right. and, and reading that book and trying to understand who she was. And were you a big Charles Dickens fan? I, do you know what, I, I, what, I studied uh, literature at university but I was much more into kind of James Joyce and Virginia Woolf and we thought you know Dickens wasn't really that cool. But actually since doing the film and, and reading um, reading his work and actually Great Expectations has turned out to be one of my favourite books. I was going to ask. He's that's actually one of your pretty favorite. good. Yeah. He is, he's not, but he's, you know, people have never really mentioned him. I in know. The past. People have been so down. He didn't on him. get the recognition that <laughs> yeah. he deserved, Charles. Finally, this yeah. film is going to show everyone just how great Charles Dickens is. And it's too is. late. He's not around to, I know, it's to receive the awards and, and stuff like that. Um, and now you've worked in so many, you know, productions and stuff like small British films and now massive blockbusters. What's what's the big difference? You know, usually when you're doing these. Uh, low budget films it's literally like you've got four scenes and you have to do them in a day and then right. you're going to lose the location but with something like spider-man you know you have days to, to do one scene and it's a it's a lot more it's a lot slower process right and the sets are massive and your trailers are bigger the trailer well actually yeah the trailers do get slightly okay. bigger yeah and no more baked beans on toast no it's caviar caviar every, caviar every day so yes the amazing amazing spider-man can you tell us much about that probably not Ah, uh, well, I uh, I can't really. Can't you? It's all top secret. So we won't tell have, anyone, I promise. Yeah, you can you, trust me. You guys. You can um, trust me. You'll have to wait and see. But it's amazing. And uh, it's Spider-Man. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing. Because it's 
the amazing Spider-Man. I love that. I love yeah. that. From the Invisible Woman to Spider-Man, this girl Felicity Jones is everywhere right now, and you're looking fabulous. Thank you very Let's much. Let's finish the interview in a good way. Thank you for watching. This is Felicity. I'm Oliver, and this is Young Hollywood. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.